G'day, Steve from Off The Grid and I was tiny house and trailers. Just with a, our latest, as usual, do a small video, our latest build going out. Actually delivering this one to Ballarat ourselves today. She's a big one, she's nine meters long, double loft, uh, flat roof primarily. It's got a separate bedroom inside, I'm gonna go inside and do a, my usual muck up video inside and let you have a look. Bit busy and a bit frosty here this morning, really cold. Everyone's sick of winter, I bet. But yeah, she's a nine metery, beautiful looking unit. Um, we we're pretty busy down there. We've got three more in the trees there. And there's actually one tucked behind that one. There's actually four. And we've got another one coming in in a week or so. But yeah, this one's a, a nine metery with a double loft spare room. And bathroom, yeah, she ran about 35,000 for the rolling shell. The client in Ballarat, he's going to fit it all out again as usual. We're still specialising only in rolling shells. We haven't got the time with all, there's another build there. We haven't got the time to actually do uh, finished tiny houses these days. This one has got the power fitted off. As usual, I tell people the power usually costs about two grand for a qualified electrician, our bloke, to come in. He fits off the GPOs, puts the breakers in there. That one's got a caravan style plug in and it's even got an external GPO for external power use. But yeah, anyway, there she goes. Um, we haven't got a name for this one. This is a client build, as most of them are. It's just so bloody busy. The, the work has just been so amazing and it just doesn't seem to back off. Anyway, in through the misty windows. It is so cold here this morning. I'm gonna go in here just for a second. Right, here we go. Right, inside we've got the standard split level loft. This is actually, yeah, it comes with a spare wheel. <laughs> standard split level loft. Quite high up top, up top's like nearly five foot six, five foot seven. Down below is 1800, so it's for six foot. Really good for either a split lounge or a bedroom. Uh, bed, uh, bedroom up top and a lounge down below. Got the secondary loft up there, which is also very large. This one's got a lot of windows in it. Um, you see in most of our videos, the clients tend to want more windows than what we um, put in the standard standard build. This one has nice louver windows up the back. I don't know you can see that. A bit dull in here at the moment. But yeah, she's a beauty. She's big, absolutely huge actually. And what this one has got, if I can possibly get the camera to cooperate, it's got the usual bathroom, 1800, that's six foot by six foot bathroom area. Nice window, and behind the bathroom, there's a kiddie's bedroom, which I believe. This is um, quite a good space, actually. It's full 2.4 width, can't the camera, because I'm useless on the camera, it doesn't do it any justice. But it's 2.4 width, it's tucked behind the bathroom, 1.8 long. And so, yeah, this uh, actually is more or less what you would call a three bedroom. Um, I'm standing in what you would call the third bedroom. You can put a door across here to give this back room privacy. All sorts of things, but they're just, when you look through, it's just massive. The uh, nine meter ones are very, very spacious. Love them to death. And I do love the mid-level, mid-level lofts. They're just so roomy. But yeah, separate bathroom, separate kids' bedroom down the end. Double loft, pre-wired for 12 volt lighting as usual. And our Sparky did the 240 fit off. As I said, this one ran about 35,000 because it's nine meters long. All the windows are architraved off, so it's hardly what you would call, even though, as I say in all the videos, we call them rolling shells, but you, know, you don't get window architraves in a rolling shell or smooth white surfaces, but you do in these. So, Steve from the Grid and Oz, tiny ass and trailers, on our way to Ballarat. Hope you have a good day. Hope winter is uh, not getting you down. It sort of is a bit difficult to work some days here. Uh, we we never seem to like winter much, but you know you gotta take the good with the bad. So there you go. This this one the client's name is Matthew, so we could call this the Matty. Anyone wants to refer to it as a design? Gutter on the end to catch water. Has all our tinies do have guttering on them. External arcs ready to be painted. So we'll call this one the Matthew. And yeah, 35 grand. Not too not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'll leave it at that. And cheers from me. Cheers from Carrie. 
cheers from the cat, bloody cat, and cheers from Jess, the dog, and we're off on the road. Only an hour to drive, but she's probably going to be an interesting run with this one. She's pretty big. And that's it for now. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.